All right, in this video, I'll be setting up a new light in my laundry room. I broke the globe on this one while I was installing that door. I think I clipped it and uh, it caused the globe to fall off it a couple of weeks ago. So I picked up this, I don't know how to say that, Kitchler, a Kitchler Barrington light. I got the same one in the kitchen, so it kind of matches throughout the house. Apparently this product could cause cancer if you live in California, but only in California, nobody else is concerned about it for some reason, which is always the case. So pop this box open. You see it comes with a bunch of instructions, that kind of thing. The instructions are sometimes pretty important, but generally lights are pretty easy to do. So pop the tape off and pull all the components out. It does come with light bulbs. And generally, if you look on the box, it'll tell you if it comes with light bulbs or not. I do end up getting different light bulbs because these are all 60 watts. So obviously this light is going to eat up 180 watts as it comes from the factory. So it gets your mounting plate. It's got a little piece for the bottom that holds the glass on. It's got a cover for the junction box and a little extender. And obviously there's some electrical wires sticking out. And in this case, there's a black and a white and a grounding wire. Comes with a glass globe. And like I said, it's got the three light bulbs, but I do end up swapping out for something different. So I'm going to rip this one off. But before I do, I'm just going to make sure that the power's off. So I've got a little voltage tester. You can see with no power on, it did not blink, but with the power on, it goes crazy. Um, so I'm gonna go to the basement. I'm gonna turn off the breaker that is associated with that device. And then obviously I'm gonna keep the switch off as well. It is definitely a better call to have the breaker and the switch off than just the switch. Because uh, everyone's got different lights, I'll just uh, sort of breeze through that. But I do save the screws and it's a good thing because I do need that longer screw. Now for this older light, you, you can see that it's got a white wire and then it's got a white wire with a black strip on it. And that would be the hot wire in this case. So I, I did go down to the basement, turn everything back on because I want to test to make sure that the black wire is actually the hot wire in this application. Cause I don't know if they switched the, uh, the colors, um, throughout the house. So that's why I checked the, the black. So I'm going to put the mounting plate on, but before I do that, I'm going to move the ground wire within the junction box to the other side so that I have a little bit more wire to work with. And you can see that I've put the mounting plate back on and really it's just the two screws. And like I said, I did reuse those. I will get back on that grounding wire a bit later. It depends where you are and there's different rules on it, but um, I do actually connect the two wires together. So not all locations may actually require that. Now, because this has that extension, I do have to feed all the wires through the extension so that it is concealed within the light itself. And then once all the wires are through the threaded bar, I'm just going to screw it down. And then there's a sort of a black cover that goes over that to make everything look a little bit prettier. Once that's in place, I'll put the black cover on and that's gonna cover the junction box so that you can't, don't see the, uh, the ugly junction box and then there's a washer and a nut that holds all of that in place. So, so overall pretty easy to get everything set up. Obviously there's lots of little parts, but it's not too onerous. And there's a, a close up of what it looks like sort of on the inside. And for the bottom, it's pretty similar. There's two threaded bolts. They kind of hold all the little extension pieces together. So there's one, and then you can see the extension piece has another threaded bolt sticking out of it. So screw all that together and then that's pretty much it. And I'll be ready to install the light because I'll obviously put the glass piece on later. So it's a little difficult to see, but I'm attaching the grounding wire from the light onto the green screw that comes with the mounting plate. And there's a little bit of a closer look there. And then I did take a murette or a wire nut and connect the two wires together. So some locations don't require that because technically it is connected to the device box, but some locations actually require that hard connection to be made. For the remaining wires, I connected obviously the black wire to the hot wire and the white wire to the neutral. And again, I got the camera sort of down because I don't have a film crew or whatever. After connecting the wire nuts, I just sort of tucked everything back up into the junction box. And then the mounting plate has two screws that stick down. There's two holes that correspond in that decorative black cover plate. And then you just take the two 
decorative nuts to uh, go on top of those screws to sort of conceal them. So there's an example of what the lights look like. And here's the new ones that I got. This is a LED version, so only 5.5 watts per bulb instead of 60 watts per bulb. And they look very similar. There's a lot more little wires in the 60 watt bulbs that came with it. Kind of gives it a more of an old timey look. But really, unless you're staring right at the light, you don't really notice that there's any difference in the bulbs. To get the glass on, there's a hole in the middle of the glass and it allows the bolt to pass through. And then obviously you keep the rubber side against the glass for some of the washers and just screw the decorative uh, pieces on to cover up the unsightly metal bolts. Overall, pretty fast and easy job. As always, if you don't know too much about electrical, this might not be the job for you. Maybe find a friend. And obviously check your local codes because there are locations that don't let you do much as far as electrical work goes. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.